Welcome to the gym. What I'd like to do is show you how to write the equation of the ellipse given uh, the, the, major, the coordinates of the major axis as well as the coordinates for a minor axis, which really represent our vertices and our covertices. Cool. So to write the equation of the ellipse, we need to be able to determine is the major axis horizontal or vertical? Because that's going to depend on where our a, our b are going to um, lie under as far as in our equation. So let's go ahead and at least graph the information that we've been provided. And that's what I'd like to say is at least like the first step. Just plot the information that you, know, that you have. So my major axis is at two coordinate points, 7, 9, and 7, 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And at seven three, at seven three, so seven up three. Okay. Now remember, these are on my major axis, so these are vert. Um, those are going to be my two vertices. Then the minor axis is at five six. One two three four five. Up six. One two three four five six. And at nine six. Seven eight nine nine six. And these have to be my co-vertices. I guess it should be. Up here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't know why I'm so off. Okay. Now, to determine our center, what the nice thing is, remember the center has to lie on the major axis. It has to lie on the same um, axis as the foci and the vertices. But often we don't really talk about it. The center also lies on the minor axis. Therefore, the center actually lies on the intersection of the major and the minor axis. So I can easily just intersect them or take the mid midpoint of each axis. And what I determine is that it's at is 7, 6. So I can say, all right, now I know my center is at 7, 6, which is very good, right? OK, um, so next thing is, well, we know the center. We know A and we know B. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? That's all we need to be able to do. We don't care about C, foci. We can figure that out when we need to, uh, when we need to graph it. So Right now, to write the equation, since I know it's vertical, I know my graph is going to look like this, x minus h squared over b squared. Um, it's an ellipse, so y minus k squared over a squared equals 1. Again, since it's a major axis is vertical, my a squared is going to be under my y. If it was a major axis horizontal, it, my a would be under x. Um, so now let's just enter the information we know. Remember, center is 8, 7, 6 which is also in our form of h comma k in our general form. So therefore, I just do x minus 7 squared over b squared. Now, what exactly is b squared? b squared, well, b is the distance from the covertice to the center. And a is the distance from the vertice to the center. So now that we know the distance a and the distance b, we can plug them in. So we know that distance b is going to be 5, 6, um, what am I doing? 5 to 7. So b is going to be 2. 2 squared equals 4 plus y minus 6 squared all over a squared, which would be 1, 2, 3. So let's just write those out. b equals 2, a equals 3. And you can see the distance um, from my major axes from 9, 3 to um, 9 and 3 to the same one, 6. So the a is equal to 3. a squared equals 9 equals 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write the equation of your ellipse, given the coordinates for the major axis and minor axis. Thanks.